my name is Anna and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these cute little snowmen that students can have and cherish forever. So the things you're going to need are plain white socks. The one I recommend that I've been using for many years are the Cat and Jack Bobby socks from Target. And it comes with a pack of 10, but this will make you 20 snowmen. So depending on how many students you have, you only need maybe two of these the most. You're also going to need um, a few bags of rice uh, and the kids are really generous. They donate these when you ask for them. You're going to need some googly eyes. You're going to need brown uh, pipe cleaners for the arms. You're going to need orange pipe cleaners for the uh, snowman's nose. A little carrot. You're going to need a, an assortment of buttons. Um, this is something where again the students can bring from home or you can just go get a container from Michael's and it'll be more than enough for years to come. Um, and another thing I like to add are pom-poms for the top of the hats. So we're gonna demonstrate using two of my students. Uh, I'm gonna ask you to stretch your hat, uh, stretch your sock open like this and reach it towards me as much as possible. So you're gonna stretch it open. I'm gonna put some rice in their sock so that it is the base and the snowman can stand. Okay, you can bring it closer. Okay, once you have this base, um, it's gonna be a little easier for their snowman to stand and not topple over. Okay, shake it to the bottom. Okay, then what you're going to do is, I forgot, you also need pillow stuffing. $2 at Target. I don't know if the price went up 15, 20 cents, but this is, get the cheapest one you can find. And one should be enough for a class size of about 25, but I have a lot more students, so I always get more than that. Okay, so then you hand students a bunch of stuffing and you tell them to start stuffing. So go ahead and start stuffing these. And you wanna form your snowman to look like the shape of a snowman, okay? I'm gonna run and get rubber bands, but you can go ahead and, and record them stuffing it. So, um, or you can show here what I'm doing also. So you're gonna have to really stick your hand in there. Uh, Marco, you can do the same, okay? So that you form it. You see how I'm making that go fatter on the bottom? You're gonna have to um, keep adding stuffing in there and make your snowman like that so it looks nice and full and not lopsided. I'm gonna run and get rubber bands because we need that for the next step. I also recommend that you have everything on hand in little baskets. You're also gonna need rubber bands. Um, again, everything can be on hand so that it's easier to access. The next part I do while the kids select their buttons and their scarves. You're gonna be needing some strips of colorful felt and they're gonna be making little scarves. Um, I, you can also have them fray the edges to make it look a little more realistic and I'll have them do that afterwards so that we don't spend the time doing that. So you guys go ahead and select three buttons for your snowman while I do this. Marco, you're going to need a little bit more than that. And while I'm doing, they're selecting their buttons, I'm tying um, a rubber band at the top of the, well, where the head would be. And here, can you zoom in on this part please? This is when I'm going to be flipping it over to create the beanie for the snowman. Okay, so now you have the snowman and its beanie. Okay, so while the kids um, select their, you can, I, I would recommend doing no more than a group of three to four. Kind of gets a lot, especially when you have to deal with the hot glue gun. So um, that's what I would, you can even do two to make it easier on yourself. Guys, can you pick yourself a scarf, please? I'm sorry that you have limited colors left. Okay, you too, please. That's not a scarf. Sorry, it's scrap. Okay, 
So here I'm going to be gluing on their scarf, um, big scarf. And this is when the hot glue gun needs to be ready to go. I like to put a little piece of glue right in the middle where I'd be covering it. And I lay the snowman down. I put one like overlapping it a little bit like this. Then you need another one right over the scarf to create that fold. Gotta hold it down for a second. And I'm ready to glue their buttons on. Can I have your three buttons, please? Thank you. Do not let the students deal with the hot glue. You don't wanna have any legal battles on your hands. Okay. Um, you can also pick a pom-pom for the top of the beanie. So these are going to be the arms. Put a little bit of glue here. Stick it to the side. A little glue here. And then we have the eyeballs. Do you have scissors here? I would recommend having everything pre-cut. When I did this with my class, I had everything ready to go. I'm just doing two extras with these boys. So I'm gonna run and cut this real fast. Don't need them very long. And then you glue on the little nose. Okay, can I have your pom pom please? And then the pom pom. Ta da! We have a really cute snowman ready to go. I am gonna have one more piece of advice that I think is really important. Because this has rice on the bottom, the one I had from a few years ago in my house started getting bugs in it, like little um, rice mites. I don't know what they're called exactly, but um, when you put this away for the year, make sure to put it in a Ziploc bag and seal it off away from all your other decorations if you don't want to go through what I went through this year. So I'm going to do another one. I'll do yours now. Thank you. So again, you're going to tie it with a rubber band. Sometimes it just makes its own natural little face, so I know to make that the front of the snowman. Flip it over. Your three buttons, please. Okay, and your scarf. Again, a doll up here. Parent volunteers can come in really, really handy because um, it's hard to get students to do something quietly while you're working in small groups. So uh, if you have any room moms or dads, that are up for helping, this would be an ideal time for them to come in and help out. And they cherish these moments with their, their child, so. Okay. Three buttons. Some of the kids get a little creative and I'll show you some other ones. And they like to have other things on their snowman, which is fine. It just depends on how much time you have. If you wanna have them add like a little Decoration, a star, another button. They can also do that. Okay, that one right there. And your pom pom, please. Thank you. And we need to get arms on this guy, too. The kids really enjoy their snowman being built right in front of them. And I always start off this lesson with, do you wanna build a snowman? And they love it. You can turn this into a writing activity. You can have them write something about the adventures of their snowman or how it got built, you know, become um, how it became, to, you know, I messed up. 
You can have creative writing assignments where the students have a story about their snowman and its adventures and how it was made, maybe how it melted. So here you go. I hope you like them. Here's an example of cute little buttons on there. And this one even did a holly leaf. So I hope you liked it.